Welcome back everybody. We're in the Big South Fork in Tennessee. It is a beautiful Saturday morning and we're out here for a two day overnight trip. We're gonna do a 20 mile loop, seeing all sorts of beautiful stuff out here. And I just can't wait to get to camp because I'm hoping to camp right next to a nice creek. So anyway, we're gonna have a great weekend and I'll see you down the trail. All sorts of families here enjoying the beautiful day and had a grand old time so i'll leave them to it and we'll be back tomorrow at the end of our trip so we'll see you down trail i'm finally on the main trail <clears throat> the uh gps kind of gets you going in circles underneath the arches and it's kind of hard to tell where you're actually going because there's so many side trails and of course there's all kinds of kids running around so Anyway, if uh, my day proves to be anything like what we just saw at the Twin Arches, I'm sure I'm going to have a great day. came around the bend. I saw this really cool little window. That's pretty wild. That is super cool. <laughs> wow. This little passage is insane. I mean, look at these rock walls. These are so cool. This, uh, the Big South Fork is quickly becoming my favorite spot in the uh, Danaboo National Forest because this is just absolutely amazing. Wow. Here's one thing I don't miss about the Big South Fork. All the poison ivy. It's making my legs itch again. Stuff was tearing me up on the Sheltoe. <laughs> I think the trail is over there in the middle, but it's easily getting lost in, in this uh, overhang and all these giant boulders. Man, they make you look tiny. Gee whiz.
absolutely gorgeous. I may not agree with the name of the falls, but man, is it beautiful. Now it's time for lunch. Lunch was great. The falls were great. <laughs> we got one more arch to see today. It's Needle Point Arch. And then after that, we're gonna find camp and relax for the day. It's a cool little rock shelter. We're almost to Needle Point Arch. Check out the little cave. Feels great under here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Never mind. <laughs> there it is. Needle Point Arch. Huh. That's wild. Here it is from up above. Let's try not to fall. There you go. Tiny little thing, but hey, an arch is an arch. They're all pretty in my book. All right, it is hot as blazes, and I am whooped. Well, I know the heat's really starting to get me to me now, because uh, guess what? That wasn't Needlepoint Arch. <laughs> this is. That is cool. I love seeing new arches. It's just crazy how they're formed. And the wind and the rain. Man. But I have not found one that I haven't liked. And this one is really cool. And what was I saying about camp time? It's time to find it. I'm beat. I'm really low on water, so I'll be happy to see that. I thought about going to see the Indian Rock House, but it's another half a mile or more out and back so I'm gonna keep on pressing towards the creek and then find me an awesome campsite. This looks like an awfully tempting spot to camp, but we still got some time. And uh, we're just now getting down to uh, Laurel Fork. And of course, it's time to cross. Oh, let's see how wet I get. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> Especially on a hot day. Oh man. That was refreshing. Creek crossing number three. I'd hate to say that I don't like it, but man, I don't like wet feet, but it sure does feel good. Number four. <laughs> Once again, very tempting. Look again. I think this is number eight. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the trail is a sea of ferns. Man, that's beautiful. All right, I think I've made it to camp. Oh, I'm right next to a creek just behind me. And man, I even got a fire pit and some wood left over. So, I'm gonna find me a spot, get some water, maybe even take me a nap. <laughs>
gosh, today, just the waterfalls and the arches were just amazing. So I'm going to sit here and relax, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning, everyone. All right, back on the trail. Nothing like starting the morning with a cold creek crossing. Ah, oh, slept good last night. Enjoyed the evening just by the fire, just chilling and relaxing. That's kind of why I'm out here, just to relax and enjoy the peaceful and the beauty of the woods. But uh, anyway, we got about eight more miles to camp. Or not camp car. <laughs> uh, anyway, I think we'll pass by uh, Cherry Creek Lodge, which is a really cool uh, backcountry lodge that you can't uh, access except for uh, foot or by horse. So that'd be cool to check out. And uh, after that, I think we'll wind up back at uh, the Twin Arches and uh, in the car. We'll see you down the trail. Yet another one. Getting almost comical. I think I'm up to 12 creek crossings by now. If you don't like creek crossings, don't do the Laurel Fork Trail. <laughs> oh, but man, it is a beautiful morning. I have to admit, the Big South Fork is Tennessee and Kentucky's version of the Great Northwest. Oh, the pine trees, the rocks, the ferns, the water, it's absolutely beautiful. All right, a little reminiscing time. This is the uh, Laurel Fork uh, Creek Crossing on the Chateauwe Trace. Uh, we stopped here for lunch, I think on day two on our, on our uh, through hike last year. But this is a spot where Samuel was trying to beat the heat and just <laughs> laid in the creek for a while while we ate lunch. He couldn't stand it no more. Man, he had to get in and cool off. It's fun just to sit here and kind of reminisce and think about the good times we had. You know, it always feels nice when you get recognized on the trail. Hello. I <laughs> just Jim. met Jim and Karen. We've been reminiscing about uh, the Shiltoe Trace, and it's been a blast just meeting both of you. Yep. And uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day and uh, be careful going home. We will, and Thank I see you. you're famous. That's how I recognize <laughs> you. Yeah. Ain't that wild? <laughs> yeah, uh, I got to meet a celebrity. Yeah. You're the one that made me know how to get through the triangles and the rocks. Hey, out. check that know. out. Yep, got a lot of good tips. So, yeah. All right. Y'all subscribe. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Definitely subscribe. That's right. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, guys. All right. Okay.
it's bouncing. <laughs> Get one last view of the arches before we head home. I think it's a lot less crowded this time, so maybe we can chill out underneath it for a while. But man, this is absolutely beautiful. Oh, and of course, as always, the cameras never do it justice. Wow. Boy, is it nice and cool in here. Wow. And I thought I heard some people the other day saying you can come right through it. This is wicked cool. <laughs> wow. All right, here's the other one. The twin, <laughs> man, these arches are absolutely beautiful. I know I'm always saying that, but man, it just takes my breath away. Wow. So cool. Well, that wraps up this adventure. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and of course subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you on the next one. And don't forget to support your local beekeeper.